that's how we start today's video, because we got Redondo, one of the most baller, badass Argentinian guys of all time. Let's go. Alright guys, so Redondo is a badass, great player, <clears throat> didn't get to play for his country a whole bunch because he wouldn't cut his hair or something and some coach didn't like that, I don't know the story, you can Google it, you guys have Google, right, you guys got the internets. Alright, so listen, what he did with this move, and we'll show it, is that he was in no man's land, dribbling, and as you can see, we're in the corner of, we're in the corner of the field, and what you can see here is that if you're dribbling with a guy right on you like this, now headed to goal, he's left footed, he was predominantly extremely left footed. And as he dribbles this way, he knew that he was going to run out of space and as you're moving into this corner, this is not where you want to go. And the guy that was on him, heading Berg, I think, maybe, the defender on Manchester United, definitely thought that he had him in a good space. And as he moved this way, Redondo knew he was just setting him up because there's tons of space behind him. And that's the thing, over here, when you're in this corner, when you guys are in this space, just know that all those moves that you normally wouldn't be able to try, they'll work for you here. Because normally you won't do something crazy like that and try and get out. If you're in the middle of the field trying that stuff when you have all the other options, it really doesn't make sense. But when you're in here, you normally can try that stuff because you don't have anything else. So as he was moving here, what he thought is he waited until the defender got close enough on him right here and as he did that, he does a chop behind the defender to put the ball around and runs around him and then he can easily pass the ball to Raul who could put it in the back of the net. So the only things that you really need to remember in here is how to do this move. And you guys all know how to do the Ronaldo chop, okay? Which is jumping, right? So if you're right footed, it'd be like that. The only difference is here, we gotta wait to put this around a defender, which means that you have to do a little bit of a burst of speed to give yourself the space put it around a guy. So if you were alone even, and you had a defender here, easiest way to figure out if you're doing this right is if you have a ball way over there, all you have to do, maybe you have the skills, you're doing something like this, you're going here, that way you know that you've actually been able to do the move. Obviously the defender here is standing, but in the game, if they're moving with you, moving towards you, like that, we'll get it done. And if you have any problems getting enough power, on this, all you've got to do is use your heel. So if we come down to my feet right now, you guys will see when I do the chop, I'm doing it with the inside of my foot. So if we're right footed, it'd be like that. But if you need to get more power on the chop, I use my heel, that way I can get around it. So looking at it from this way, if I go slowly towards here, like that, that way I can get out and sprint. That's it. Alright guys, that's the video, you know what to do. Leave us a like, comment down below, follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Patreon, check out GoRemy.com, and we will see you guys later. Peace. Yo, Remy, Fasola, he just go Lou, Remy, control all them boys from Kansas City, where they know we got them tricks. We get it.